Previously on Big Brother Plush. Charmander rose to power as the second head of household of the season, with an ultimate plan in line to backdoor his former Alliance member, Beaks. To do so, he nominated Goomba and Koopa as pawns, as they seemed easy, like, you know, pawns right then. Beaks then won veto and decided he was going to go against his former Alliance members and use the veto, which ultimately would put them in quite a pickle, but he ended up not doing it when Goomba came to him with a master plan of staying on the block to get Koopa out. Tonight, who will be evicted from the Big Brother plush house? Goomba or Koopa? And will Goomba's master plan work? All this and more right now on Big Brother Plush. 65, wait, oh no. So, I don't know what went wrong because I thought Beaks was going to work with me and I thought for sure he'd take me off the block. Um, but he just got the veto, so I don't- I don't know. Hey, Beaks, so what's- what's going on? Um, nothing much. No, I mean, like, what- what went on with the veto ceremony? Oh, right. I'm so sorry for not using the veto on you, by the way. No, don't worry. There's no need to apologize. I just want an explanation. Alright, well, like, I just want to get Goomba out, alright? That's true. Because think about it, Goomba's like the biggest hindrance in your game right now because he's the only one that's actively anti-Koopa, you know? It's kind of crazy how that's my own duo partner that's like that, but yeah, I know. Yeah, because of the twist, the only way we can get him out is if you're on the block with him, unfortunately. But I'm confident you have the votes to stay. Are you sure? I'll vote for you to stay. Well, there's one. How many do I need? Well, there's 11 voters, so you need six to stay. Okay, so I have you, which is one, and then I have Rodney, Scrappy, and Spongebob which is four, and I don't really know how to talk to Gary, but I'm sure Spongebob can convince him it can't be that hard. So that's five, and I just need one more. Who else are you good with? Well, I'm sure I can talk to Orson or someone like that. All right, yeah, go do that, because you got a campaign for this to work. So right now, the duo of Goomba and Koopa is split up, basically, and I'm playing both sides. However, they're both on the block as final nominees, and so I have to lie to both of them that I'm on their side. You guys got my back in this vote, right? I came up with a plan where Beaks would not use the veto, leaving both me and Koopa on the block. However, I'm confident that I have the votes to stay, and right now, Koopa is the biggest threat in my game, and I I think I have the votes to get him out. So, I have to do a lot of campaigning to make sure that that happens. Yeah, but I feel like Koopa's a bigger threat. Yeah, for sure. So Goomba comes along with his little campaigning and I just have to, you know, go through the usual, yeah, you're safe, I think you have the votes, but I feel safer with Koopa in this game, so little does he know, I'm probably actually going to vote him out. Oh, uh, hi Goomba, I, can I talk to you guys in private for a second? Oh, I'm trying to find Orson and Harriet because I want to campaign to them, because right now I only have five votes and I need six to stay, but when I walk into the room, I see Goomba. And I look at him, and he looks at me, and I think we both know what we're doing. And so this is not a good situation at all. Oh, no, I think I'm comfortable right here. Uh, Koopa, we can go somewhere else if you want. This is so unnecessarily awkward. I can just feel the tension with that just- Oh my god, I hate this. Alright, yeah, come with me. He was campaigning, wasn't he? Yeah, he really wants our votes. I think you're definitely safe, though, because you have a lot of more people than he does. I hope so. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna keep it this week, alright? I- I want you to stay here, so... I appreciate that so much. It means so much to me. No problem. Charmin, I'm curious, who is your preference for the vote? Oh, honestly? I don't really know. I don't really care. But like, wait. Think about last week. Like, it's the same situation. Koopa has so many people right now, and I feel like he's in a way better position than Goomba is. Oh, don't start this shit again. No, but it's a good point. Right now, Koopa is aligned with Rodney, Scrappy, Spongebob, potentially Gary, and most likely Beaks, which is more people than I can count on one hand. Yeah, but think about it this way. Those are also all people that are going to vote in his favor. So there's no point trying to flip because he's just going to stay. Yeah, and plus, um, his little group there will probably implode soon anyway, and then we can take a shot easier. Well, guys, think about it. We have us three. Itchy, you can tell Scratchy. And then I'm thinking we could somehow talk to Beaks and Scoops, and that's six right there. I don't think Beaks will listen to us. Oh, guys, don't do that, because Beaks was the one that leaked the last um, time we were trying to flip the vote. Don't do this again. That is a good point. 
so what are we gonna do? No idea. SpongeBob, do you think you'll survive? I'm pretty sure I have the votes, but I'm still like really, really scared. I really hope you don't go. Oh my gosh. Wow. He says same. I'd say I'm really good friends with Koopa right now, and I hate to see him in the same position as me last week, and I'm just really hoping he can survive, because I feel really bad. Yeah, well, we have you three. Um, I think I have Rodney, obviously, and then I'm pretty sure I have Harry and Orson, and maybe a few more, so I should have more than enough. I'm, I'm hoping and praying. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Oh my gosh, hi guys. Rodney, we were just talking about the vote. Oh really? Koopa, you're staying, right? Yeah, I'm like 80% sure I have the votes. Oh my gosh, that's so great. Those guests, it's time for the live vote and eviction. In just a few moments, one by one, all of you will go into the diary room, cast your vote to evict either Goomba or Koopa. But first, we have to give both of them a chance to plead their case with one brief statement. Goomba, you're up first. So, I think that I can be beneficial to a lot of your games, and I really hope that you choose to keep me. Um, and, yeah. Oh my god, I fucked that up so bad. Thank you, Goomba. Koopa, you're up next. Alright, so I hate to campaign against my dual partner, Goomba, even though we've had, like, a little rough patch in the past couple days. However, I really hope that you choose to keep me, because I've loved my experience here so far, and I can't wait, or I hope to keep playing with you all, and, uh, yeah, make the decision that is best for your game. But I hope it's not me. <laughs> Alright, it is time to vote. Harriet, you're up first. Harriet has been campaigned to by both of the nominees. Whose plea did he find more convincing? Hello, Harriet. Hi, Harvey. Please cast your vote to evict. I am going to choose to evict Goomba. So sorry. Thank you. Wobbuffet feels that Beaks and by association, Goomba and Koopa, are dangerous for his game. But what does he feel is the best game move to make? Hello, Wobbuffet. Hello. Please cast your vote to evict. Um, I'm going to evict Koopa. Thank you. Orson has proven his trust with Koopa over the past few days. Will he vote in his favor? Orson. Hi, Harvey. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict, um, Goomba. Thank you. Scrappy is one of Koopa's closest friends in the house. It would truly be a shock to see her vote him out. Hi, Scrappy. Hi, Harvey. How's it going? It is going very well. Please cast your vote to evict. I am going to obviously evict Goomba. Thank you. Itchy was pitching a plan to flip the vote onto Koopa. Will he go through with it? Hello, Itchy. Hello. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Goomba. Thank you. Similarly to Scrappy, Rodney is good friends with Koopa, so her vote should be obvious. Hello, Rodney. Hey. Please cast your vote to evict. I am going to vote to evict Koopa. Oh my god! Did, did you make a mistake? Um, yeah. Can I, like, oh my god. Can I switch my vote? Um, okay. Who do you actually want to vote for? I, I vote to evict Goomba. Okay, locked in for Goomba, alright? Yes. Thank you, Rodney. Due to Gary's inability to communicate with the other house guests, his vote is up in the air and potentially impossible. Hello, Gary. Wait, where is he? Wow. Okay, please cast your vote to evict. Wow. Um. Okay, meow once for Goomba, meow twice for Koopa. Go. Meow. Okay, you vote to evict Goomba. Meow. Alright, thank you, Gary. With six votes to evict Goomba, Goomba will leave the house tonight. But let's see how the rest of the house votes. Rachi has expressed distaste for both nominees. Who will earn his vote to evict tonight? Hello, Scratchy. Hello. Please cast your vote to evict. I am going to choose to eliminate Goomba, if that's okay with you. Whatever is okay with you is okay with me. Thank you. Alright. Goops, for the most part, has remained in the shadows this week. Who will he vote for? Let's find out. Hello, Scoops. Hello. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Goomba. Thank you. No problem. Bob sympathizes with Koopa for being in the same position Spongebob was just a week earlier. Will he vote him out regardless? Hello, Spongebob. Hello. Bah! Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Goomba. Thank you. Eeks is in a solidified alliance with both of the two nominees separately. His vote is completely up in the air. Hello, Beeks. 
Hello, Harvey. Please cast your vote to evict. You already know, we gotta throw a hinky vote to stir the pot. I vote to evict Koopa. Thank you, Beaks. All of the votes are in. Let's give the news to the house guests. House guests, the votes are in. When I reveal the vote, the evicted house guest will have just a few moments to say goodbye, gather his belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of 9 to 2, Goomba, you have been evicted from the Big Brother plush house. Bye, Koopa. Bye, Charmander. I'm gonna miss you guys. <sighs> Alright, we love you, Goomba. Alright, good luck, guys. Wow. Look, his picture turned black. <sighs> so, hi, Goomba. Hi, Harvey. So, 9 to 2 vote. How are you feeling right now? Well, I know I had, like, a master plan. I kind of figured this was coming, though, because I know it was basically, like, a suicide mission to keep myself on the block. But I thought there was a chance it could work, but I knew in the back of my mind that it probably wouldn't. And I guess the back of my mind was right. Yeah, well, at least it wasn't unanimous. That is very true, and Bulbasaur and Squirtle cannot say the same. Yep. Do you have any guesses on who the two votes to keep you were? Um... Part of me wants to say Beaks. Yes, Beaks was one of them. Oh, alright, that's surprising. And the other one, I have no idea. Not one of Koopa's friends, probably. Maybe, like, Scratchy? Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. It was actually Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet, really? I would not have guessed that. So now that you're out of the game, who do you feel most betrayed by? Definitely Koopa. Um, we came into this game as a duo, and I feel like he decided to um, put more of his trust in other people. And in turn, that caused me to get out. Well, I kind of caused me to get out, but you know. Do you think this will affect your friendship with him outside of the game? The spiteful side of me wants to say yes, but I know it's not. Um, we've been friends for a while and stuff. And I'm kind of thankful that I was pre-jury, so I could get over it by the time he gets out. Um, assuming he's in jury. But, yeah. Alright, well, your fellow house guests, um, some of them have taped goodbye messages for you. Would you like to see that? Yes, I would. Alright, here they are. Goomba, if you're seeing this, I'm so sorry. Um, you seem like a real uh, cool person, and I can't wait to see you outside of the game. Goomba, I'm so sad to see you leave. Um, I really wanted to keep you here and keep working with you, um, but unfortunately that couldn't happen because I felt it was best for my game to make this move, and I'm really sorry, and I can't wait to see you on the outside of the doors. If you're seeing this, um, your fate was definitely sealed by your plan to have me not use the veto. Um, goodbye. <laughs> Goomba, I really hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me for whatever I did wrong. I still don't know, but I hope you can still be friends outside of this game, um, and I hope you don't hold it against me. Bye. Final thoughts? Um, this was a good experience. I think I learned a lot about myself, and um, yeah, I can't wait to see who wins. I'll be watching from home. Alright, it was a joy seeing you play, Goomba. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you for having me. No problem. Alright, tune in Sunday at 6, 5 central to see who wins the new head of household and who he or she will nominate. Then at Wednesday, at the same time, to see who wins the power of veto, and if it's used to save a duo or not. Then finally, one week from today on Thursday, still at 6-5 Central, to see who will be the fourth person evicted from the Big Brother Plush House. Till then, I'm Harvey. Stay tuned for Big Brother Plush.